Right now at noon, police are searching for two masked gunmen in a violent carjacking. Thanks for being with us. I'm Bridget Ellison. And I'm Kirsten O'Connor in for Justin Warmoth. Police tell us one of the men stole a couple's car and the other stayed behind and sexually assaulted the woman while holding her boyfriend at gunpoint. News 6's Ezzy Castro tells us how investigators are working to get crime results. Orlando police were knocking on doors and passing out these flyers here at the Summerfield Apartments to residents after a violent carjacking took place in the parking lot this morning where a woman was sexually assaulted. Yeah, that's a little scary because nothing has ever happened here before. It's always been really quiet and nice. Crystal Wolfel said two Orlando police officers came knocking on her door early this morning to let her know about an armed carjacking right outside her apartment. They, they knocked on the door around 7 or so. And um, they just said it was a very serious incident and that they were looking for a white car. Investigators say this is the parking lot where two masked men approached a couple at around 4 o'clock this morning. That's when one of the gunmen stole the victim's 2011 white Toyota Prius, while the other suspect stayed behind and sexually assaulted the woman. I was just hoping that nobody got hurt. I mean, that's what you always think about when you hear serious incident. Detectives went back to the scene today and passed out flyers at the Summerfield apartment complex, hoping someone may have seen something. I just hope they find who did it. Now, police are looking for those two suspects. One of them was wearing a ski mask and a hoodie. The other was wearing a hoodie and glasses. So if you have any information about what happened out here this morning, make sure to give Crime Line a call. 800-423-TIPS. You could remain anonymous and even get a reward up to $1,000. In Orlando, Ezzy Castro, Getting Results, News 6.